shirt as ever. <laughs> Jeff. Yes. Mahogany. <laughs> Terrence. Yes. Frakes. I'm going to go with no this time. Okay. Well, that's the end of the show. Good night, everyone. <laughs> thanks for thanks for joining us. I was just about to tell a story about how a, a toddler asked me to help them pee today. Ooh. <laughs> Moving on. I mean, you're, you're <laughs> nobody really wants to know whether you said yes or not. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> Smart. Good on you. Toddlers have a there's a time and a place for toddler pee, and it's their pants. I was at work. I went to go use the bathroom, and there was a lady standing in front of the men's room. And I was like, Oh, is it good to go in there? And she was turning to say yes. And like a six year old opened the door, and he's like, Not a toddler. That's a child. Well, whatever. They're, they're, just, they're not old enough to speak full sentences. I'm just a toddler. Whatever. A primary schooler. <laughs> like, Maybe. I don't know. I have a hard time judging the age of children, I have a hard time judging the age of adults. Yeah, but it doesn't matter as much when you're an adult. Yeah, but they all look like children. Yeah, he opened the door and he said something in a language that's not one that I speak. <laughs> and she shooed him back in there. It wasn't like Spanish. It was like Swedish or some shit. It was very, like, off-putting because I wasn't expecting it. Not that the language is weird. So I'm I was so like, is it cool if I go I in there? I just wanted to be there to know what the language was. Is it cool if I go in there? And she was like, yeah. So I went in. And then he starts asking me how to use the bathroom. Well, like you never seen one before? He's holding his... He's got a death grip on his penis. <laughs> it's not he's out. trying not to pee himself. He's literally just holding... His fist is the only reason there's not pee going everywhere. And the <laughs> urinal comes up to his chin. And he's looking at it like, that's not going to work. And I was like, yeah, that's not, that's not going to work. And he goes, can you hold me? So I can do this. And I said, you no, I cannot. Him up to the urinal. <laughs> he wanted me to hold him up to the urinal so he could pee. I was like, there's a toilet in there. And he looked at it and it was kind of gross. And he was like, I don't want to. And I said, well, yeah, you got to because I'm not, not holding you while you pee. He goes, will you watch? And I took that as a make sure nobody comes in. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to look this way while you're over there doing this, this thing. And as soon as I said that, it was urine in the bowl. Like he he had to just had his thumb on the tip. Like a water hose. <laughs> as soon as the thumb moved. It just he can't get It's a racehorse thing. Then I had to, you know, he needed to help washing his hands and like drying them off. And I was like, I'm not this kid's father. But I'm you nice. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> they don't have like a floor like level toilet uh, it's urinal a, it's a bar right yeah we have a toilet you can sit on it's like a normal house toilet no, no, and a no, urinal. Like, let's be real it's a bar for people with children because that's uh, yeah Yeah, but like urine, some urinals have like the, the adult urinal and some people have the, the kid urinal that only it's only like a foot off the ground no they did not splurge for the children's urinal <laughs> I always wondered if you have, if you're gonna have a urinal, and you've got the adult urinal and the kids urinal, why don't you just have the like tall urinal, the Florida Florida, yeah, Florida floor to ceiling urinal. Oh, you get a nice kid. waterfall Flushy. effect. <laughs> Better that than the trough full of ice that they used to have Ugh. at some Ugh. gross places, like the stadium trough where you get to stand next to people with no barrier between you, just all looking at each other's wings. Yeah, y'all peeing in the same tin bucket <laughs> with the steamy urine ice. <laughs> oh, pee steam. It's the worst. <laughs> women don't know about the pee steam. We do. I think women would know if they peed outside because they'd be closer to it. <laughs> well, okay. All the women and listeners and mahogany, of course, next time you find a patch of ice and you have to pee, experience the pee steam. <laughs> mm. It's an enriching, an enriching activity. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> All well, right. Now that we've taken the piss. Oh, God. I hate you sometimes. You know that? <laughs> I, I am aware. <sighs> changes nothing. <laughs> this changes nothing. <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> welcome, buddy, to... Raiders of the Large presents the world's most available heroes, the Mutants and Masterminds 3rd Edition. 
uh, campaign. Uh, with with me as always is the team, and uh, I'm your host, Terrence. After you teleport to Baltimore, wait. I guess we should do a recap. A lot of a lot of weird stuff happened last time. Mm, yeah, yeah. We had that. We had a situation. You had a situation last time. Okay, so backing up a bit. Uh, you were woken up in the middle of the night by Adam the Cat, who said, who had a um, a questionable mission for you. He sent you out to the middle of nowhere in Ohio to look at a, a smash billboard where you found giant tracks and began tracking them, uh, eventually coming across uh, a gigantic robotic frog um, that had <laughs> that is connected with the theft of a Connected with the theft of a collection of memorabilia for a pop star and a billboard stolen from that very same uh, uh, stretch of road in Ohio of the very same pop star. One Damon Child. As- ascertaining uh, through, you know, general deduction that he the, the, the frog is moving towards Baltimore, Maryland, um, where Damon Child will be doing his next performance on a tour. You guys decided to intercept, and intercept you did in a mall in western Pennsylvania, um, where you had a, an unusual interaction as a uh, a childlike voice echoed out of the speakers of the troll, telling you to, to to leave her alone, leave him alone. She's she's on her she's on she's clearly on a mission of love, attempting to get to her boyfriend Damon Child, and after a brief skirmish. The, the frog leapt into the up to the sky and went into what the voice described as stealth mode and disappeared. Now you know the heading of where this gigantic robot frog is, which conveniently has the word frog written on the side of it, of its uh, green chrome body, F period R period O period G period. Um, and uh, a- a- as I recall, you guys said, well, we'll just wait at the at the concert venue. For her to show up, is that still your plan? I thought we had discussed about um, let um, Damon, what's his name? Damon Child. Know what's going on, and then ask if he can assist us, and then we would move to a safer location mm-hmm. and let yep. her know that we don't All want right. the venue getting destroyed. Exactly. Take him into protective custody and remove him to a more remote location. All right. The um okay, then once you guys get to the location, you're basically stuck out in front of the uh the CFG Bank Arena in Baltimore waiting for Damon Child's bus to arrive so that you can talk to him. Uh Duncan says, I've done a little research, a little search online. Here you go. I think I've uncovered something. And he sends you a link from the website sciencefairsdisasters.lol and um it is a video, uh, and it says filmed at R- Rudolph Diesel Scientific Youth Academy. When you uh, bring the video up, it's just like a camera, like a like a camera, cell phone camera video, and uh, it moves down the the aisle of a bunch of science fair uh, displays of children showing off their various and surprisingly advanced um, science fair projects until you get to one that, where it stops. And you see a young blonde girl with uh, curls standing next to a display that reads, Meet Prince, your robot frog friend. And in the booth is a robotic frog the size of a terrier with a jaunty gold crown on its chrome green head. The, uh, the, the boy, a boy's voice, presumably the one holding the camera, begins to speak. Hey, Greta, nice robot. Too bad the judges don't allow cheaters to win the competition. The girl uh, suddenly flummoxed, like, I didn't cheat. What are you talking about, Felix? The boy. Everyone knows your dad made your robot for you, you cheater. The girl. He did not make it. I made it. The, the boy did not. And the girl's like, I did too. Just because you and your friends projects like 25 year old TV battle boss doesn't mean I cheated to make Prince. I'm just smarter and better than you in every way. And the boy says, the boy uh, in a, with a sneer says, Prince, what a stupid name. 
guess what? Ma- guess that makes you the frog princess. The boy starts laughing, and along behind him, you hear in the audio the laughter of several other boys. As you can see on the video, the uh, a tear streaming down the the girl's face. This girl looks like she might be ten, um, but then her face begins to harden up as they continue to laugh. And she shouts, "Prince, domain protocol, five targets dead ahead." The robot's eyes begins to grow glow red and it leaps directly at the camera holder. And uh, the video ends in uh, violent shaking and screaming. And then Duncan sends you another uh, feed that says, uh, from the, from a local newspaper, says, five students injured at private school science fair. Uh, does that sound like your voice? Yeah, it sure does. does. Yep, yep. Uh, sounds like her. Um, he says, all right, I'll keep look. I'll keep digging. It's um, very early in the morning, and basically you guys have several hours to wait. Um, you're guessing until Damon Child shows up. So you're stuck. You're stuck in Baltimore all morning, uh, doing whatever the hell it is you do. Uh, you can actually even teleport back to the base uh, to get some rest or whatever if you like. I summon an RV. Okay. And then chill out in it. All right. I would suggest we. Uh try to get go through the proper channels to get in touch with Damien Child's manager, agent, uh, whoever's in charge of the concert venue. We need to we need to get this ball rolling or call in a bomb threat. One of the two. <laughs> Your Felix come across the uh, the comms once again says, uh, yeah, I've tried to contact the the um the promotion company, but nobody's nobody's uh nobody's really attending phones this time of day. Do I'll get back any... with you as soon as I can make some contact. All right, that'll work. Hey, Defrag, do you have the ability to uh, surf the world wide web of yours and figure out where these people might be holed up? You mean, where's the vehicle? No, no, where where they are, where they are. Where uh, who hotel, is? where the, the the promotion people, the Damien Childs, the target. Probably on his travel bus. Coming from a venue to go into another venue. Uh, an hour or two passes. Two hours. Let's go. And daylight is is peeking over the um, over the city. When you get a communication from Adam, hey, uh, we got some, we got some, uh, we got some good news and some bad news. Uh, we got a hold of someone involved with the promotion. Uh, the manager says Damon doesn't wake up till two. And he doesn't want to talk to anybody, and they will not let us talk to him. They don't care who the hell we are, which is, you know, upsetting but expected. <sighs> just letting you, just keeping you an update. Have you uh, informed his manager of the dire circumstances of this situation? Yeah, well, apparently this guy's been getting death threats uh, since he was 15 on YouTube. They're not putting a lot of credit behind it. <sighs> they sent him video. I don't even team. think they looked fucking pop stars, man. Let's just hijack his bus. You hear Duncan come across. I can give you GPS if you want. Yeah, that's great. I mean, do we need to take his bus anywhere? We just no. use him as, as bait? Yeah, but I mean, like, we... If we could stop his bus, maybe not hijack, but um, blockade. I don't have a lot of patience for celebrities these days. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of how to, you know, protect the his fans and and him, I guess, from the wrath of a ten year old. Um, sorry. Let, to, do, uh, to be clear, the uh, the the video you saw was um was marked as I- at least a two year old video, so twelve ish. Yeah, I don't have the patient. Uh, you know, we're trying to save someone from the wrath of a preteen, so. Unless anybody has any other ideas, I'm all ears. Does anybody have any kind of super hearing or super senses? I can. I don't have a magnet, no. Okay. Just curious. All right, moving on. Uh, hours go by as you wait. Uh, you get the you get the location well, and the actual... Oh, before hours go by. Okay, okay. That conversation, uh, does anybody have anything? About just, I mean, we just get into the bus, right? We we are going to the bus. We're going to get well, the, the bus is coming we... to where you are. Either way, so <laughs> mm. when is this concert supposed to happen? 
uh, tonight, but it is 7 a.m., so... <laughs> That's still a ticking clock. And there's probably, <clears throat> if he's as popular... Let me do this in character. <clears throat> if he's as popular as, you know, what I'm imagining, is he that popular? Is he Taylor Swift popular? Um, Yeah, pretty popular. Not quite Taylor popular, but yeah, up there. Up there. So there's probably people already waiting to get into this venue. So the venue is compromised at this point. The, the people who are there are uh, in danger already. Actually, yeah, so you can probably... You can see from your the windows of the uh, the digitally generated RV that there are a number of like uh, campouts in the parking lot. Like it looks like the 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 box office ke- has kept a number of tickets not sold online. Mm-hmm. So there is an actual very long line formed. So I feel like waiting for this man to show up to the venue is reckless. We need to stop him before he gets here, remove him from the situation to a a remote location. Unless my thinking is just completely wrong, I feel like we are on a very strict timetable because this girl is already in the air coming this way. If we can redirect her away from this venue, people will not die. But if we allow her to come to this venue, there's a high chance that given the the narcissist... Preteen mentality. She doesn't care about other people. She'll squash them without a second thought. <laughs> While you're talking, you hear um, Duncan says, "All right, I've done a little digging. Um, looks like the crew is, or rather, Damon himself. I don't know about their crew. Is set up at the Four Seasons in Baltimore. So, though, that's probably where they'll be landing initially. Can we get a GPS? Sure. He sends you the GPS, and you guys aren't that far away." Can we intercept them? Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, let me see. Let me check the satellite. Yeah, he he's an hour out, so you're good. Intercept them somewhere where there's less populous. Yeah, an hour outside of Baltimore. I imagine that there's not. Eh, I don't know. There still might be quite a bit of traffic, but either way, <clears throat> that's where that's our plan. Let's hit it. Okay. Oh, by uh, the way, Bubblegum, I'm- can you can you shape shift? Into another person. Into a picture of another person. <laughs> okay. So you can't look like him as you. Well, uh, no. I can only do it. I can only shape shift in my thin form. Sorry. Well, that's not. Nope. No. No need to apologize because that's still an option. We could still use you as a decoy of a cardboard cutout to look like him. But <laughs> I imagine if this girl's smart enough to build a giant mecha frog, then she'd probably see right through that. Anyway, this is all. This conversation is all happening as we're on the road to intercept his tour bus. Sitcom in the nineties. Yeah. All right. So you guys move move your way through town and get to the Four Seasons. Um, Adam informs you that he has called the night manager there and let them know that you guys will be entering the hotel they <laughs> they respectfully asked if you guys would come in through the service entrance and the manager will meet you there oh, can we not mistaken. do it here because i don't want to cause a bunch of yes exactly damage. do it on the road tell we are board, intercepting yeah, teleport, yeah. let's just teleport to the um bus yeah. somewhere away we'll put uh, i'll put another I'll, I'll put a digital bus in the way of the road so they have to stop that is that was my thinking. But is the frog chick gonna know where the bus is? We'll transmit the location to her. Yep. This is we not a her. trap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if she thinks it's a trap or not. She's gonna still come. If she thinks that we're gonna we have kidnapped her boyfriend. Yeah, we will have video evidence and proof of life that we have him. All right. <laughs> yeah, we're not uh, letting him get into Baltimore at all. Okay, we're changing. All right, we're changing tax. Great. Um, let me give. Let me get you that information. Duncan says, and uh, Adam says, "All right. Well, I'm going to call the, the the manager back and tell him that is uh, never mind. Uh, you you folks, oh, you 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 vex me. I, you, just, I, you, you know what? This is on you, Terrence, because this was clearly our plan. When I said hijack the bus, you know, that's what I meant. I didn't mean meet him at the hotel." I don't know. No one was saying anything else. You gotta, you gotta fucking speak up. 
I believe he literally said, let's hijack the bus. <laughs> yeah, he did, and nobody answered him. <laughs> that's that's valid. But I assumed you guys are blowing him up. But anyway, so yes, the GPS coordinates are sent to you. You got a very narrow amount of time to uh, basically block off the interstate coming into Baltimore. Teleport. Put a big right. bus in the middle of the road. Okay. Can you do a couple of cop cars? I can do one vehicle. All right. So it needs to be a bus. Do a bus. A semi. Cop bus. Cop bus. Bus. bus and shit. <laughs> they got cop buses. <laughs> just, just a cop RV with the flow <laughs> yeah. SWAT team. Actually, yeah, you could probably do a um like a SWAT van oh. if you were doing a police vehicle. Um, but you're doing a bus, right? Yeah, I'm trying not to use mistaken identity to false identification of being a police officer. Fire truck. All right. Okay, so you, you teleport onto the interstate in your bus. Um, you, according to your GPS, you are about a quarter mile ahead of Damon Child's tour bus. Uh, there, It is early morning traffic uh, heading into Baltimore. So w- what is your plan precisely? First plan is to um, have a, um, a illusion of cops in the road telling people um just um to get out of the way to stop traffic and we'll put up a um barricade there all right Uh use your power you create the illusion uh after some of the traffic clears away from your bus you slow down a bit create the illusion of the the traffic snarl and uh it's not uh in, in a short amount of time you have a pretty quickly accumulating line of traffic forming behind you but uh given your timing you see damon child's bus is well within view of your traffic stop proceed that way and then start letting the vehicles pass um anything that's in front of his bus and let them go ahead and get the hell out of there okay and then proceed towards his bus um, use the illusionary cops to um, direct the traffic and stuff, and then we proceed that way. You uh, you get you you begin like slowly moving the traffic away from the bus, uh, letting people out, letting people come in, and th- you create a single avenue, a lane of um escape, while you guys basically move toward the bus and bring the bus forward. Eventually, and then, the bus put, gets- and then put a barricade behind it so the traffic stops. All right, or actually, if possible. Have it to where we're doing this almost at a on ramp, and then yeah. have the have the um bus come forward to where it's past the on ramp, and then all the traffic can be diverted onto the on ramp. Okay, direct it over to the shoulder. All right, the bus um uh, basically pulls over according to your illusionary cops' wishes, and um a, a sort of a bleary eyed driver steps out whenever your your illusion cops beckon him to do so. Fellow steps out on the side of the road. What's what seems to be the problem? Go down and dismiss the illusion. Okay. Uh the whole thing? No, just the part where the cops right there. We'll okay. still keep the barricade going so um diverting the traffic. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, you did miss, dismiss the illusion. The guy is uh, taken aback by the sudden disappearance of the fellow in front of him and more taken aback by the sudden appearance of uh, for superhero types moving in his direction. He's like, whoa, 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 what's going on? Um, do you have Damon Child on your bus? <laughs> he turns over his shoulder and you can see Jay Damon Child's <laughs> huge smiling face on the side of the bus. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I just wanted to make sure he was there because there is a individual that um, is trying to intercept him. So his life, his life is in danger in the life of his fans. Are in danger. Huh. Okay. Uh, you want to talk to Damon or his manager? Yes. If you don't mind, pull over here um, into the Bond Overpass right here. Break yeah. down lane. You know that you're not too far from a truck stop up, up away, so you have them pull up. That'd onto, be fine. Onto an overpass and into the truck stop uh, parking lot. Guy's a little freaked out. Like Cyber Squatch, he doesn't look normal. Okay, I know. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, the, the flaw is monstrous. Yeah, he, he, Cyber Squatch doesn't look normal, and um, you have a guy in armor as well. Uh, 
<laughs> uh, the other guy seems less 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 intimidated by you know people in high fashion outfits. That's mm. that's 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 kind of in his purview. But like once he pulls over, uh, a fellow steps out. A different fellow is like, okay, what's going on? Run it by him and tell him what's going on. Mm-hmm. All right. An the obsessed man, fan. Thing who has super intelligence and the means to create super science is targeting your client. Like targeting how? Show show him a hologram of the um the fight in the mall parking lot. Oh my god. <clears throat> Holy moly. Yeah. So if we and allow your scale. client He's like, if we allow your client to proceed to the venue, it is putting the life of everyone who is waiting for him. It is putting his life in danger. We uh, we are here to take your client into protective custody in order to preserve life. Um, Cyber Squatch, while you're mm-hmm. talking there, you hear a voice come across your uh, your communicator exclusively. It is your um, is your it's basically your 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 ops team mechanic, Rena Barber. Hey. Squatch. Go ahead. <laughs> it just sounds really bad, but um, so my niece is really into Damon Child. If you <laughs> could like, if you could like get him to get an autograph or, or a photo or something, uh, for uh, it would really, really make me a superhero at Christmas. <laughs> I'll do what I can. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, after you talk, while you're talking to the manager, the the man himself walks up. The man himself being sort of a short. Uh, lean, like youngish looking guy coming out. He's like, he's he's holding a bottle of liquor. He's got his, he's basically just wearing like silk boxers and, and an open button up shirt. He's like, what is going on, guys? Get up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Logan will say, your crazy girlfriend's looking for you. Which one, kiddo? <laughs> exactly. The preteen. Don't we have a picture of the girl? Yeah, yeah, you do. I mean, you have the picture of her when she was ten. But um, actually, uh, Duncan says, yeah, I got a more up to date photo. Uh, let's see, mm. this this year. Oh no, he sends you the video, and it's a um, or sends you the the picture, and it and it appears to be a a, uh, a picture like whenever somebody checks into like a rehab center or, or a nursing home or or a thing like that. They generally have their picture snapped uh, to put with their paperwork. And you just see like the, the sort of the dark eyed, like a hollow eyed version of the um, the girl you saw with the, the, the curly ringlets, the curly blonde ringlets in like um, a dressing gown. He's like, this is the most recent pic. It ain't pretty. Oh, so that works. Ward. Is it from a psych ward? It is from a psych ward. <laughs> Bring the manager over. Right. And show him some pictures and show him the mall instant. This is what's coming this way. We're here, we're here to protect you. And Damon, Damon. Damon watches. Damon and the manager watch for a moment. And the man, and Damon's like taps the manager on the shoulder and, and like beckons him away. It's like, excuse us, folks. Hey, give us a little. Just give us a second. All right. Bubblegum is going to, as soon as they are not looking at her, she's going to go thinner and she's going to follow real discreet like. Turn into a paper airplane, follow her. Uh huh. And if I can see where they're going, then I will go. Like, if I can tell, like, oh, they're about to go dip off into the room to the right, then I'm going to go ahead and teleport myself in there as a very small, like a stamp. Okay, on the so wall nice. or something, something tiny, so that uh, I can you 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 slap on the the van next to them as an inspection sticker or whatever, and uh, <laughs> begin to listen to uh, Damon and his manager's conversations. Like Damon's like, "Holy moly, this could this could add like I don't know, maybe two years to my to my career." <laughs> the manager's like, "I don't know, Damon, man." This could be this could be rough. These super types are is they're serious people, especially when they he look he looks looks over looks over his shoulder, especially when they go nuts like this kid's after you and she's like a robot person or whatever. You could get killed. He's like, "Yeah, but you know, think of the good press. 
I, you know, uh, we th- the the concert gets threatened to be closed. We, you know, we say, hey, we don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to try our best that everybody gets sad and gets upset. We can make this a, like a two hour window of stress. Make it seem like Damon Child. It's still hot news. <laughs> He's like, the, the manager puts his hand on Damon's shoulder and put and, and like, lowers his head like, Damon. And he looks into this very young looking guy's like, I know you're turning 30 next month, but come on. You, yeah, it was never going to last forever. Maybe it's just time to call it in, you know? <laughs> Damon comes close to him, look a little angry. He's like, Listen, Mark, I owe money to a lot of dangerous people. And I need my career to keep going. I can't wait for a fucking comeback in 10 years. He's like, okay, okay, okay. What do you want me to do? Bubblegum, you overhear them talk where Damon uh, gets his manager to ask you guys, is telling his manager to ask you guys to just escort them, be, be present there. Uh, at at the concert venue, they 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 want to make sure that p- fans are safe and things like that. And he's basically saying, "I don't want to cancel the concert. I need this money, and I need this, and I need this press, especially if this giant robot shows up." Yet the Dame and Child concert—that is the first thing they're going to be saying. The manager's like, "All right, Damon, you're the boss," and they begin and they begin moving back toward the group. They're like, "Bubblegum's gonna appear behind them." Just in regular bubblegum form. Okay. And just slap the kid across his face and be like, you freaking idiot. (laughs) Ah! These people's lives are more important than your clout. Sorry. You know, you're not supposed to be listening in on people. I thought you guys were superheroes. Yeah. That was, that was sleazy. (laughs) So what? I do what I want. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to take you into custody now. Bumblegum, why did you slap him? Yeah, good question. Oh, yeah, because this idiot is going to try to get us to go to the concert and use this girl, this poor girl, showing up to kill him to further his career. Anybody mm-hmm. that gets hurt, be damned. I <laughs> hope she stomps on him. Maybe he has the just... good grace to turn a little red when you say this. He's like, I'm just trying to, you know. I mean, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got a wife and kids to think about. <laughs> what would it do to your career if this, this got out? What I mean, would it do to your career if we could make it work for you? You become a hero by saving your fans from a crazy fan that was trying to get in touch with you. You you risk your life quote unquote, to protect your fans and still were able to give your concert tonight. <laughs> um, he looks a little daunted as you're talking, but whenever you mention that, he's like, oh yeah, you can do that? Yes, it, whole- if you work with us, yes. Our plan is to remove you to a safe location. Use you as bait. Uh, he, gulps, he gulps visibly at that. Oh, really? You won't be at all in danger. You will be far removed from any danger. However, think about the headlines. Damien Child cooperates with Super Team to bring down insane, obsessed fan. He he leans over to his his manager. He's like, are they a good Super Team? I don't think I've heard of them. He's like, they're the Crusaders of Justice. He's like, I don't recognize any of them. That's because we like to be stealthy and take care of our stuff quietly. We don't but... seek the spotlight, but you would have it. Uh, he says, <laughs> he's like, okay, 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 fine, fine. I'll work with you. If you, you know, just don't, just don't get me killed. Yeah. And then the manager's like, yeah, don't get him killed. <laughs> a lot of people's paychecks are, 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 are relying on this guy staying alive. Like that's literally what we're trying to do is keep you alive. You don't and know. keep your fans alive so that they can keep paying for your career. <laughs> The uh, the manager turns to Damon and uh, uh, unscrews the bottle of whiskey in his hand and says, Damon, why don't you just let me talk about it with these fellows? And you go inside, relax. I'm sure we'll work out something not dangerous and um, good PR. And I he pushes. Hold on, Damon. Real quick. Stay right yeah. there. 
and do me a favor um, and kind of like a video. I would like you to say hello to this young girl's, oh, the, the name of this girl, as if she was right here and say, hey, I'm looking forward to meeting you. <laughs> He's like, all right, but waist up. I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> no, that's fine. Wait, that's fine. <laughs> Should we also get in on this picture so that she knows that he is with us? Uh, that way, when we communicate with her saying, hey, he's at this location, she, and send the picture. It's not no, just that we, we can do a both. picture we, of him. We can, if I can get a picture of him, then if I need to crop y'all into it, we can crop y'all into it. All right. He goes into celeb mode. He's like, all right, well, we got a name or something. You <laughs> and here's her name. And here's Greta. Um, you remember, you remember the boy saying Greta on the video and then, um, you hear Duncan come across as like Greta Greenbeck. Uh, Greta Greenbeck. She's a big fan of yours. Um, so if you can say something inspirational to her and that you're waiting to meet her, some along that line. Uh, in okay. Your well, maybe. <laughs> and look, I, I just remembered who this guy is. Yeah. Maybe uh, we should try to kill her infatuation with him. Well, that would solve all this. So we should just play the soundtrack that he did for Blood Splatter 14. <laughs> the splattering. It was awful, right? <laughs> Everybody agrees with me. His music was awful in that. Maybe the guy, had the, that he the guy looks that. embarrassing. Like, uh, you know, I didn't have much to do with that. They just licensed the songs. I, I, they, they treated my fucking work like a jukebox box musical for a fucking horror movie. I did not like it. Yeah, I, you were in the music video. I mean, <laughs> you know, you got to cross promote. Yeah, uh, just <laughs> you know, uh, just reminder that that happened. Like bubblegum here. Give that, up these, uh, like, wow, that's a cult classic. And then she f- transforms into a, a picture of him. Can I get your autograph? <laughs> Oh no. Oh, like no. just like a picture of the cover of that of that movie or whatever. All right. I don't like, necessarily want her to get pissed and go slaughtering a bunch of people in retribution. All right. I'm just saying. He's like, hey, hey, who's this? This is terrible. Here? Fire fire up your video. I got this. All right. Do I get my autograph? Anything for you, honey? He smiles at you. He smiles at you and then does a double take and then he smiles a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um let me let me get one of those too. I know somebody who's <laughs> a big fan of yours. Uh-huh. Don't worry, kiddo. I uh, don't worry, big guy. Your secret's safe with me. I'll get you a headshot. Uh great. He, he, he's like, are you on? Yep. All right. Yes and go. Hey, this goes out to Greta Greenbeck. Uh, I'm coming to Baltimore to play a concert, and I want to dedicate it to you. But before that happens, I want to be hanging out with my good friends, the Crusaders of Justice. And uh, private meet and greet <laughs> at a private meet and greet. And he's <laughs> and he pauses for a moment and he and like looking for a prompt. Well, Just we'll add you. We'll, we'll we'll I'll edit it into the um video. Don't worry right. about it. Hey, at a private meet and greet, and if you could show up, I'd be more than thrilled to see you, sweetheart. Yeah, and of course, I'd love to see all of you out there, uh, Baltimore. Cut. Oh, I didn't get to do my the, my catchphrase. Ah, fuck it, whatever. Uh, Go ahead and do your catchphrase. I'll I'll cut it back into it. All right. Uh, much love to the members of Child Nation. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, at least he didn't say his child soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I, that's good. I might keep that one for my next two. Oh, <laughs> uh, not okay. <laughs> All right. He's it's like, my idea and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> he deflates a little. He's like, All right, let's go to this private meet and greet. Go take a break in your bank bus and me and the, uh, uh, the manager and us will have a discussion and we'll we'll take you there so we can get all this taken care of. Sure. Yeah. The manager you got to rest up because you got a concert tonight. You got that right. As you hear him, you hear, as, you, as you're being pushed on the bus by uh, the manager, he's like, hey, you got a little uh, you got a little go powder back here for me? I feel like it's going to be a long day. And um, the manager shuts the door of the, the bus. He's like, seriously, this guy is my meal ticket. For now, please don't get him killed. What are we doing? Let's, and let's pause for there for just a second. I got to go with this. All right. And we're back. 
All right. Uh, Defrag quickly edits together the video, uh, plugging in an, uh, ad, basically an address that's given to him by Duncan. He said he's found a nice, nice, clear area in the in the town of Frostburg. He's like, uh, it's it's like, even if it does stray into the town, which we hope it doesn't, uh, the town's like 10,000 people max. So just keep it away from the college and the and main street and everyone should be fine. But he's, he's basically pointing you towards the outskirts of Frostburg and the um the a number of like farms and things on on the outskirts he's like we should probably have a good line of uh clarity there sounds good <clears throat> the good news is if we got their her their gps i'm sure she's probably been tracking his gps if not we can send it to her the video goes out, and um, the the tour van begins heading in the direction you guys indicate, following you to Frostburg. Uh, Adam says, "Yeah, just find a local. See if you can get. See if you can rent an area. We'll we'll, we'll send you some uh, funds." Uh, what time of year is it? Spring. <sighs> We're gonna have to fuck somebody's fucking farm field up. Uh... <laughs> well. They might have some fallow fields if they're doing proper crop rotation, then one of their fields should be empty right now. All right, Mr. 4-H, then I'm going to leave this to you. Well, just trying to scare anybody when you're trying to rent their field for a combat. No, I think uh, I think someone else should probably handle the conversation there. All right. Um, moving past this very quickly, you find a farmer that is with a, with a good slice of land that's amenable to renting it out for the day for a for for a for a vet, a public um meet and greet venue but when he and he looks at you he's like this ain't one of them like crazy superhero battles that you guys are trying to lure away from a city is it you want a little bit of hazard pay i mean i can put that in the in the fine print <laughs> uh we'll edit that in there <laughs> He um <laughs> he listens to your offer and he finds it acceptable and you get off fairly cheap. He's um excited to see it. He's like, I'm gonna go get one of them good camera phones, uh, something with a good zoom. If that's all right, you guys ain't trying to do anything in secret here, are you? Oh, uh, have fun. No, actually, uh, we would love to have that footage back as well, a copy uh, of it. Don't worry, you can download it off WorldStar <laughs> whenever I post it. <laughs> <laughs> because that would assist. This, he, he only this points is, at one thing. He see points at an enormous grain silo. He's like, "Whatever it happens, keep it away from a silo." Well, we will do so. Thank you. Read, read Hazard Bay again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that silo ain't making it. <laughs> yeah. If you got anything special you want out of there, you might want to go grab it. Cause, um... <laughs> uh, grain. <laughs> No promises. We can make sure that you're compensated for any loss of property. Uh, damn, I'm regretting this shit already. <laughs> All right. So, yes, you set up your meet and greet, quote unquote, in this field and um, update your your uh, your video posts. <laughs> and we have, uh, her, we have her frequency, right? We could just like beam that to her. That's true. Yes, you do. You can beam it to her. You don't know exactly where she was after she disappeared. Once her camouflage was almost perfect. Uh, just a, an amazing bit of technology. Ultimately clear stealth. Probably the most valuable thing you've seen on this bit of technology that she had. Like, there are many uh, giant robots that have been built in the last 50 years or so. But, like... Something with very ultimately evasive stealth, very difficult to come by. The um, you you beam out the uh the the coordinates to where your meet and greet is, and um, by noon, Damon Child is out of the van, dressed up, looking good. Uh, he's he's, he's got his hair styled. He's got his face is his face moisturized. He's got the he's got his as this fits. He's ready to face the world. He's like. All right, uh, what do you guys want to do? Just uh, just wait here in this. He looks at it and says, what is this, soybeans? It is what right to... this second. <laughs> and he's like, 
you know, there's a chance. There's always a chance. This doesn't mean anything. Like this, this kid might have like had a second, a second to reflect, saw your yeah. video, and realized what she was doing. You know, it could be everything could be perfectly safe. He says, as a large shadow uh, engulfs <laughs> the, uh, the the his chair and the side of the uh, the, the the tour bus. Now, put this a force dome up. This is something uh, we could have. He said he put a force dome up. Yep. But all right. This is something we could have discussed on this on the way here. What if we actually let her meet him? What if we actually let them have a meet and greet, and then we take she's her? She's got to be out of the mech to do. Yep. The meet she's and she's got to come out of the mech to do the meet and greet. We can go disable the mech and take her into custody as soon as she's done with her meet and greet. Well, if we're going to do that, then Bubblegum can turn herself into a note that says that and just slap it onto her uh, her front display window. One thing you learned, window. one thing you learned in your last battle, Bubblegum, is that the um, the ship is not the the ship the 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 frog mecha is not uh, entirely watertight, and which means it has loose seals that you could probably get into in mm. one form or another. I could do that, but I mean, I just like to be a, a note that she can read that says, like, if you wanna, if you wanna meet him, you have to come out of the mech. Okay. <laughs> we have the force and, dome up around him. Yeah. So that she's got to come out of the mech to meet him. We would be out of sight, and Check we would yes just yes or no. Do you okay. want to meet him? <laughs> yep. You um. All right. Well, back to what I was saying. Um, a, a, a large shadow basically looms over the uh, the the site of the meet and greet, and you guys hear a loud thong as you look up over uh, Defrag's uh, dome over the area, and you see just like the underside of the massive um, robotic frog clinging to the top of the dome, not where it would have hit. The uh, the the tour van, but close to it would have landed very close to. My so it thinking is... is that she probably wanted to just grab him and bound off with him after the last conversation that we had. So make her get out of the mech. Yeah, maybe my note is on the inside of the dome. I'm just pressed up against the dome. All right, <laughs> you says, you turn into your note and uh, <laughs> if you want to beat what's his face doodly guy, you need to. <laughs> Come out of the mech, and we'll let the we'll let you through the dome to come. All right, out. your 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 thin your paper thin form slaps against one of the massive robotic eyes of the of the frog, and um, delivering your message to her her viewers. And finally, you hear her voice come across the loudspeakers. You're not gonna fool me like that so easily. Hand over Damon Child so that I can take my rightful place as his at his side, as his girlfriend. The words on the note change. Not gonna happen. <laughs> you want to see him? If you want to do the meet and greet? He's willing, but you got to be out of the mech. <laughs> uh, Damon's like, oh god, this is way scarier than I thought it was gonna be. The frog, uh, basically clambers off the dome and into the uh, the field of soybeans and um you see it uh, land on its uh, like squat on its haunches for a moment its massive robotic mouth opens up and that huge um chrome pink tentacle of a tongue begins to slither out it whips through the air to one side and it begins slamming against the dome so let's see where's my d20 what is your d what is your dome's uh toughness AC? is 10 huh toughness is a 10 toughness is 10 um let's see i got a where's my oh right i'm looking at the wrong fucking program there you go <sighs> Uh, throw a tongue attack. There we go. Then uh, do you have to roll toughness? Yeah, I think you have to roll toughness versus this tech. Go ahead. All right, just checking something real quick. Actually, toughness is actually 11. All right. Roll it. Oh, uh, let's see. 16 plus 11, 27. 27. Your your dome holds together as the, as the, the first strike from the massive um, metal tongue slams into it bubblegum since you're on the outside of the dome apparently 
Um, no, I said I was pressed up against the dome on the inside. Oh, okay, okay. You're pressed up against the dome. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> you th- then you're pressed up against the dome. You get the the the, the full weight of the uh, the massive uh, metal appendage slamming into it, shaking it. It be- it goes again. You need to make another save for me. Yeah, I'm gonna get off the get off. <laughs> Roll a one. Roll a one. Mm-hmm. All right. On the second attack. The um the the force field shatters apart in an explosion of pixels and light, and we roll initiative. I uh, just can't let it happen diplomatically. God damn! You guys would not. You guys would hate it if this ended diplomatically. What are you talking about? <laughs> you make, you make these characters for fighting, and then you're like, oh well, you know, I thought we could have ended this diplomatically. <laughs> I wouldn't have been strictly diplomatically. I assumed that she would have had like a mech suit or something. Then we could have actually beaten a child. No, we have to fight a giant frog. Oh. Yeah, let me beat up a kid. Come on. We've done that. <laughs> we hit it's that been kid. done. We hit that kid one done. time with a hammer. That, that should not... be all it takes to beat up a child. <laughs> I think I bumped that kid a couple of times. <laughs> just popping it down the road with the hammer. Like, oh, oh, hit it that doesn't count as beating it up. Cyber Squatch, what do you got? Well, it was a four on the die for an 11. All right. It's Cosmic Knight. 20. 20. Bubblegum. 29. 29. Defrag. 18. 18. All right. Bubblegum, you're first. <laughs> the, 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 as you leap off the side of the dome, in your uh, in your returning to your normal form, the uh, the dome shatters from the massive whipping tongue of the um the robotic frog. Your go though, what are you doing? Uh, she's gonna like a rock, and while still in air, she is going to skaboosh at like uh, she's gonna fly back probably about thirty feet and skaboosh, and that's a natural twenty. All right, oh, nice. nice. And that is a hit. Uh, is it anything special? Does it do um, something? Like, um, like, what do you mean? Sorry. Like natural twenty. Does it do anything besides a? Uh, oh shit! I don't even remember. Hit. Fuck. No, In this game. Yeah, you can. Um, I thought you I could could add an effect. You can, yeah, boost. You can it. make the DC higher. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. So uh, instead of DC twenty six, it goes up to whatever it goes up to. I think it goes up by five. Yes, four, four or five. <sighs> well, there are critical hits in this. Just don't know. All right, so you're naturally raise the degrees of success by one. Hmm. So, so what does that give you in total? Uh, yes, uh, the critical hit increases the difficulty to resist. The attacks affect by plus five. Yeah, okay, so gotcha. DC, DC 31. 31. Holy moly. Okay. Let's see. Well, uh, that's not undoable for this robot, but it's still a pretty high roll for me to have to make. <laughs> um, and 11 on the die does not get it. Um, nice. So the difference between 11 and 31 is 20. Oh, no. Well, I'm I mean, sorry. The, the, the total would be uh, 25. Okay. So the difference between 11 and 30... Okay. Six. Six. So six. Two right. degrees. So that's two whatever. things. All right. So the you managed to, to damage the mecha. Yeah, um and you see you see sparks begin to the shoot out of its uh its various joints and whatnot. Yeah, and I have flown like back away from the dome and also up. Right. And I moved about say, um, like 30 to 35 feet. Total. All right, Bubblegum, we're at we're at Cosmic Night. Cosmic Night, Bubblegum opens up with an extremely powerful hit. I used my turn to applaud her. <laughs> uh, no. Nice. It's a giant frog robot. I'm going to draw my sword and go back after them legs. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot. I, it's still it's still battle damage from the last time, so I got to... I gotta, okay, we're good. The last time, it did, I, didn't hurt, I hit it, but I didn't hurt it. Uh... Star Sword, don't fail me now. Ooh, 19. So, 30. 30? That, that is also a hit. All right, DC 26 to resist the Star Sword's power. 26, you said? Yeah. All right, I, I actually got a 30 on that resist. So. All right, well, there it is. 
All right, you, you you begin coming into it. Um, the thing's tough hide, however, reflects the star sword for now. Um, you're go defrag, defrag. Create another dome over um Christian. I mean Damon child. All right. I I told him I'd protect him, so that's my goal. All right. Is anybody recording it? Is are you are you guys relying on the the your normal your normal cam pods or are you? Well, like, I'll keep a re- record of what I'm doing and stuff. Of they the can fight. always check this out on Raiders of the Lark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, if the uh, the manager should be out there with the uh, with with his cell phone or not, because everybody else on the on the van uh, otherwise would have fled off to the nearest farm farm. I mean, <laughs> if he's dumb enough to be out there with a cell phone, then have he is him, definitely otherwise. dumb enough, uh, yeah, to to, yeah. to try and get footage. So yeah, you put your dome over uh, Damon Child and I guess his manager. Yeah, uh, near the cell near the bus. Um, anything else in your action? Um, let's see. Uh, I'm flying and let's double check something real quick. Go ahead and work on somebody else. And I, the only thing I want to do is I want to see what it would take for me to turn invisible. All right. Um, it is now the frogs go the frog who is, I believe he is, um, whatever the second degree is. He is dazed this turn, correct? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, nice. nice. Um, it can only take one action. Yes, yeah, single standard action. Uh, its tongue whips around towards um, Cosmic Knight, actually, since you are the one. Mm-hmm. Actually, how far are you away, Bubblegum? Like, like 35 feet up in the air. Okay. Back away, like distance wise from the from the dome where I was already in the air. Okay. Probably like wherever, like just below the height of the dome. So right. I went back and up 35 it, feet from there. The tongue whips out at you then, Bubblegum. Um I rolled an eight. It gives me a twenty-one. Does that get you? Um for your that? parry. Uh plus ten? Yeah. Yes. All right. Wait. This is the other thing I'm good at. Okay. Seeing that Bubblegum's about to be hit, Cosmic Knight interposes himself between her and the attack. Um, Does 21 get you? It wouldn't matter. When I do this, I automatically get hit. Okay. All right. Then I need you to make a fortitude save versus his tongue attack. Uh, wait, fortitude. Uh... 21. Oh, sorry. T- toughness, toughness. My bad. Sorry. I'm done. 22. 22. 22 uh, only fails by one. So you take a... I'm bruised. A bruise. Cool. Uh, yes. <laughs> Cosmic Knight leaps into the air in front of you, Bubba Gum, uh, taking the whack from the tongue. It is your go, Cyber Squatch. Okay. I'm going to get within 30 feet of it and activate my... Electricity purge, burst area, affliction. Okay. She needs to give, or the mecha needs to give me a save. Which one? Believe it's fortitude, but I'm trying to see. DCF means fortitude, right? Yes. Yes. A fortitude saving throw. Oh, uh, 22. Uh, the save is. 15. Fuck. Okay. Nothing happens. All right. Your purge does not work on the, the toad. Like it, it's uh, internal shock absorbers are able to deflect your, your attack. Um, let's see. Uh, Defrag, did you have anything to do before I start the next round? No. Nah. Okay. Bubblegum, you're back to the top. All right. Um, uh, Bubblegum's going to Skaboosh again. Uh, that is a 22. 22. 22 will hit. Woo. All right. Uh, we're rolling against 26. Uh, God damn. You're, you're doing great today. Uh, <laughs> I got a fuck 14. What is that? <laughs> that's 12 difference, right? So that's three. Levels. Three. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So big sister's stand. laying it down. And then also going to fly up. And back another 35 feet. So, um, I so staggered. Okay. Hindered half speed. Gotcha. Cosmic Knight. 
Bubblegum uh, fires another ex extremely powerful blow at uh, uh, the frog. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to burst my cosmic shield for a, a swifty, swift action uh, and just barely get rid of my bruise. A little bit of healing circles me and I'll, I'll charge back in with my sword. Uh, I think that's the same thing I got last time. Uh, 22 to hit. 22. No, I rolled way hit. better last time. We'll hit. All right, DC 26. 26 toughness. Oh, man, I'm doing so bad today. Uh, I got a 22, so that is another bruise. Another bruise. These bruises come, are coming quickly from you guys tonight. Uh, we're back to you, Defrag. I'm maintaining the shield and then fly up to where I'm above where I think the cockpit sat. Okay. Uh, you fly up above the cockpit. They, you're guessing that the cockpit is probably in above the head area, um, since most of it looks like the um, the travel apparatus, the legs, the torso, and things like that are designed for both weapons and travel systems. That's fine. And then that will be all I do. Okay. Uh, let's see where the frogs go. Where it's staggered. Um, this time the cosmic knight gets an attack. Which might not hit. Uh, actually, twenty-two. I think that's uh, yeah. All right, that is a hit. Uh, then I need you to make a save versus the tongue lashing. Natural one. Natural one, which gives us a that gives me a total of eleven or twelve. Twelve. Okay. So. Mm. And uh, so that's oh gosh. So that's seven, 16. You, you take 16 is what you take. What you mean you, that's three degrees of failure? Yeah, yeah. So you okay. end up staggered and a bruise. Got it. Holy damn. Yeah, I got, I got walloped. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And I roll four. All right. Um, you <laughs> you hear a, uh, uh, you hear the, the speak, the voice come across the speakers again. You stop damaging my frog. This thing's hard to maintain by yourself. And uh, <laughs> gave you every option to get out. I gave you every option to turn over my boyfriend. Alrighty, and then we're well, gonna turn you over. Weird, you cyber squatch. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Damn. What? Uh, what? 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 Can I do? I want to. I'm gonna shoot the legs. Sweep the with... leg. Gotcha, Karate Kid. With my my blast cannon, not the line of effect, but an actual just a single boom from my integrated arm cannon. Gotcha. Oh god damn it! Uh, three plus eleven, so I'm sure I miss. Uh, yes, I'm afraid so. Hit the grand um, silo. Damn silo. <laughs> well, I'll roll randomly blast. to see if the grand silo gets it. <laughs> um. um can I do a retry? Uh, uh, you, you, you can spend your hero point and retry, I think, right? Yeah, it's an extra effort use. After a particular degree of failure, the extra effort merely permits another attempt to use the effect that grants no other benefit. So I'm going to use a hero point and a different die. <laughs> 21. 21 is what you need. Oh, really? Hey. Yep. Actually, it's a little nice. higher. Nice. Okay, DC 24. 24. Oh. Well, um, let's see. How many let's see, bruises have I taken? Four. I got a 23. Uh, one bruise. <laughs> it's but something. It, it's still a hit. Uh, <laughs> we're back to you, Bubblegum. Skaboosh, baby. Yeah, keep that up. That is a 23. The hit that hits. Love and I it. roll toughness now minus five. Jesus Christ. And you're looking for a 12. Oh no. What is your DC? 26. 17. I, the difference is 17. <gasps> wow. You're down, aren't you? Let's see. That's five, 10, 15. Yes. All right. Um, Double gum continuing her probably the probably the best performance she's done so far in the campaign. Uh, probably the best performance she's done. <laughs> she keeps blasting at the uh, the robotic toad, and finally you you hear an explosion from within its inner workings as the thing uh, just 
its front leg its shorter front legs spread apart and its its massive head slams into the uh the soybean field in front of you well bubblegum's gonna go flying back down like she can get there in a movement i think she's got like 120 feet and try to see if the little girl is safe get her out of there all right you um Whenever you get down there, you see that the, the mouth is slightly ajar with the, uh, the the tongue hanging out. And you can see that there is a hatch uh, within the mouth itself that would probably lead to the control center. Mm, excuse me. Oh, gosh, I got to go to a different file. No, no, no. There we go. Mr. Manager, I think perhaps you should take Damien back into the van. You might not like the optics. Uh, he's, he's, the, the manager says, uh, all right. <laughs> and he begins um, pushing Damien. He's like, oh, Jesus. Did you see that? She just blasted the damn thing out of the sock, out of the sky, out of, out of this. She just blasted the damn thing. This damn thing is black. <laughs> um, as you approach, the hatch begins. You see, uh, to begins to open, and you see a, a small figure uh, coming out of the of the hatch itself. She's like, "No, David, don't save me! <laughs> I love you." As, as a twelve-year-old girl wearing uh, pink overalls and sneakers, and Weirdly enough, like a princess tutu and a crown on her head gets out. She's like, and you can see tears pouring down. She's like, no, I was going to be important and cool. I was going to have the best boyfriend. Little girl, boys don't make you cool. You make you cool. What do you know? You, you ruined it. You're old. And I will restrain her, cover her <laughs> mouth. All right. Enough of that. All right. Well then, um, that went a lot faster than I thought. I'm. Just, <laughs> you you could lie. Huh? We can't see your dice rolls. You could lie to us to no, make no. it go longer. <laughs> have my moment. Did yeah. Uh, but but we'll right. take down a mecha toad, kaiju <laughs> yeah. level monster. Bubblegum, as you move closer, the girl seems like distraught. Like she just doesn't like. She thought this was going to make her important and cool, clearly. And she's very pissed off about it. And she just sort of falls to her knees on top of the the, the pink chrome tongue and begins crying. She's like, my dad is going to kill me. Do we want to let her meet the guy anyway? Just meet him at least safely? That is up to you and him. Um, Let's go talk. I'll go go talk to him real quick. And the manager. Okay. A short time later on the bus, the the guy's like, I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, it might be bad optics to have a mentally disturbed child meeting a person <clears throat> she's stalking. Yeah, but it might also prevent something later on from happening. Maybe he could give her some words of uh, just like, oh, I'm sorry, but I really hate girls that do this kind of thing. I don't <laughs> know. I don't know. I don't. I don't think. I don't want her to think she has a chance. That's what I'm saying. Maybe dissuade her. Like just the manager says, "Dick, Damon, don't you think it's time you just admitted it to the public?" Damon, Damon, um, his face tightens up. He's like, "Yeah, but my fan pace are girls this age and older." Like, just tell her that you're married with children and. To keep that a secret. It's your little secret. I don't know. Don't think that's, that's where he's going cool. with this. No, no. That is where, like, like it's, you guys did not get any information about him being married at all. <laughs> in fact, even his age is kind of surprising to you because in all the profiles, he's listed as 22. I don't want to give her a target. Uh, yeah, who knows what other little gadget she's got hiding for just in case she gets close enough to him. That's right. valid. The uh, Damon says, hey, "You know, if you think I'll me- if you think meeting her will help, I'll meet her." The the manager against it. What do you guys want? If she's like restrained and they don't get within touching distance, I'm fine with it. All right, uh, then you, as behind you, the as dome, you, maybe. I'll uh, I'll put a I'll put the dome up. All right. You uh, escort her out of the the, the, the wreckage of the robotic frog uh, to the uh, the edge of the dome where Damon Child is there. He's like, hey, how you doing, Greta? The the girl looks up. She's like, I just wanted people to like me. I just wanted you to like me, Damon. He's like, I like all my fans, girl. 
Can't you share me with the rest of the world? And she begins crying, uh, not knowing what to do. Uh, make a perception check, um, uh, Bubblegum. Uh, 30. 30. Nice. You, you you notice that she has something in her hand. and you, it, it, It's hard to see the way she's got it clenched. But she begins to like grip it a little harder. And you see like protrusions of gold begin to come out of the top and bottom of her fist. I... As her eyes grow wider, she's like, and and you and you and you. I will give you an action. What are you doing? I'm going to tackle her. Okay, <laughs> you tackle the girl just as she brings up a uh, 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 the the, uh, the protrusions in her hand form into what appear to be some sort of like scepter that she blasts outwards and it bounces off uh, Defrag's force shield as she lands rough her crown and scepter tumbling aside as she begins to wail inconsolably. <laughs> okay, that was a bad idea. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, that's that's on me. Uh, well, that's, that's why we got a shield up. Yep. Uh, Damien, why don't you head on to your concert now? <laughs> he is oh. scrabbling at the edge of the shield trying to get back to the bus. <laughs> well, the shield is covering him and the bus, I imagine. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, he's already back in the bus. Yeah, uh, and ma Mr. Manager guy, you you go on and take him to the concert. Actually, I'll, like, I'll I'll go talk to the manager real quick, and like, Mr. Manager, and I will put him in touch with um, what's her cat's name? Adam. Uh, Adam. Adam. I'll put him in touch with Adam and go. Hey, we will give uh, at least one press op here to thank y'all for your help, and I try to use this for good pub publicity and. We really do appreciate your help with this. Yeah. You know, I says, thank you. Uh, if you could just like, you know, kibosh the footage of him pissing his pants on the way back to the van, that'd be great. Well, that's uh, done. As long, <laughs> as long as we can spin it the best way we possibly can, and I don't want to hurt her either. She's going to have enough troubles in life as it is now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how many 12-year-old supervillains are there? So I'm gonna probably cut out the part that she's a little girl. We can we can talk about the big giant frog. You know that's fine. All right. But let's leave that little girl because she okay. she's got a lot of life. She's got a long life ahead of her, hopefully, and hopefully she will not be institutionalized for us for life. Not for the rest of it, but at least until she's got a handle on things. Yeah. <laughs> um. Once you guys, uh, well, you guys are. Instructed by Adam to take her to once you disarm her, take her to the Baltimore City Police. The feds will meet you there and take her into custody. What are we um, doing about the but he's frog? called her dad. <laughs> Don't worry, that's that's gonna be done pretty soon. That's that's kind of out of our hands. We're just turning over the perp. What do we do with her tech? Her frog. Her tech. Uh, let's see. Duncan came up with, uh, it, apparently it's got a patent on it. Uh, he begins looking through various screens. Yeah, it, fully robotic operations giant frog. Funny. <laughs> but uh, it's apparently a property of Greenbeck Industries. <sighs> so her dad really built it. I don't, I'm not sure. Or maybe <laughs> she just did it for her dad either way i mean she she couldn't do this without a heavy industrial fabrication um a fabrication facility so there might be a way to get him on the hook for this well he is definitely responsible for raising an entitled brat like this <laughs> all right well once you guys uh turn over greta aka the frog princess to the authorities and head back to the base um, Adam greets you. He's like, well, uh, at least nobody was hurt or killed. That's the important part. I think we did a, I think we did a lot of good work today. You guys didn't even blow up that silo. Oh, right. Let me go back and handle that. I was going to say, I feel like it should <laughs> just crumble now. Yeah. <laughs> from the damage from that hit a while ago. <laughs> he's like, um... I and uh, you know why don't everybody have a glass of water? Uh, there's a little bit of something we need to handle before the day's over with. So, 
why don't you go do that and meet me back in the ready room? <laughs> I know it's been a long night, but the night isn't necessarily over. After a short time, you guys meet back in the ready room and you say, like, Adam is sitting in front of the, the desk. He's like, uh, how many people have been with the organization here before? Mm -hmm. none, none of us. Um, just Cosmic Night, really. Oh, I mean, that was it was brief. I didn't know if that counted. <sighs> Were you here during the the emergence event last time? Yes, I think. Right? Um, I've been here since the nineties. Yeah, you don't know necessarily what he's talking about because, like, you weren't with the the the, the group long enough on your two other kind of forays into the Crusaders' justice. Mm. You've heard people talking about it, but they never really explained it to you. Kind of like with uh, what was it, the Monster Hunter International books? For the, there was the event that happened in the eighties. Remember what I'm talking about? Yeah, we're um, yeah. But nobody Christmas talks about party? it because it was awful. The Christmas party. Yeah, he's like, yeah. Well, the emergence event has come up, and we have drawn the short straw on it. I'm afraid we're on high alert. He um signals to Duncan to put something on the screen. And you see something that looks weird. He's like, I know you might have had your fill of robots, but I'm afraid we're going to have to keep going down that trail. And the and the thing on your screen appears to be just a massive, like, metal man. Only, like, he's made of gleaming chrome uh, and, like, gold accents. And you see a chain, like, chain a stream of chains coming off his forearms like like um like <laughs> like leather fringe and it looks like he's wearing um a metal cowboy hat and his eyes look like massive sunglasses adam the cat lifts his head up and he says the macho machine has returned and we need someone to deal with it yeah ooh yeah <laughs> So next time, I'm gonna we'll snap be, into a Slim Jim. <laughs> yes, we'll be snapping this, snapping the Slim Jims, Ooh Yang, and um, getting ready to throw down in a big way. The cream but, always rises to the top. The cream. Uh, <laughs> this yeah. end, this, so let's go ahead and do the the cover for this issue, issue ten, the Princess and the F R O G. That's the name of it. Yeah, that is the. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to start waiting until the end to ask you for the title. That's fine. Uh, that is the title of this episode, The Princess and the F-R-O-G. Who, who wants to do the cover description? The Princess's Pride. I'm picturing um, the frog landing right on the outside of the dome and the pop star scrambling back into the bus. <laughs> that scene... From the side, like you see the bus's front and the the guy pissing his pants to get back into the bus as the frog lands right outside the dome with us I, in the dome. I like that one, but I would like to I would like to hear a description that spots like spotlights the spotlight character, uh Bubblegum. Who who wants to do that one? I Bubble say gum? it's the picture of the um uh, blasted note plastered on the side of the <laughs> bubble. To the um, girl as, she, as she's landed on the bubble. Will you surrender? The frog? You check yes or no. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, if you're interested in the next step in the next issue, please check us out uh, next month or next week. Week is week. Check us out next week, and of course, check out all our uh, peripheral things. You know, like Patreon and. Uh, all our links and all the things that you have to like and subscribe to in order to keep us um, keep us at least emotionally invested in doing this. Thanks. All our watching. other shows too. We have other shows, but they, if you if you're listening to this one, chances are you already know about the other ones. No, Maybe this not. is more important. And this is more important to me because this I'm one not. has more Jeff. Yes. This does have more Jeff. So if you want shows with less Jeff, and I don't know why, <laughs> check, check out those as well. <laughs> well, if if you want shows with less less Jeff banter, they don't exist. Yeah, no, they <laughs> barely, barely get any out of less now. banter out of Jeff. <laughs> this has got all the Jeffiness. <laughs>
Raiders of the Lark, chock full of Jeff. <laughs> as much Jeff as you can handle. I don't know if I can handle a lot of Jeff.